Hey, beautiful people. Andrew the Realtor here with my June 2023 housing market update for specifically for my folks at Willowdale and Newtonburg East. You guys know I do a full GTA wide market uh, update. I did that earlier this month. And this is specifically for the folks here because, well, because I can, because I do this on a monthly basis. Very good information, guys. Let me get right into it. Um, especially for the buyers, something you really need to take note of. And sellers, I was working with a seller just last week in Willowdale. And next week, I'm checking out a condo in Newtonburg. Um, important information I want to give you guys. So uh, stay tuned, especially if you're building a new house, by the way. Uh, just stay with me here. So uh, market update, of course. June 2023, going to have May numbers and tell you what's going on now. So the big thing is buyers, uh, this is similar to what I put in the, for the GTA wide market as well. Interest, the interest rate increases. It's not going to change as much of your expenses. I did a math thing. I, w I wouldn't bother with you here with that. But uh, for the GTA wide, I did one and it was uh, for a million dollar home, um, $800,000 mortgage. The difference was about $120,000, $116, I think it was specifically um, in terms of uh, monthly payment. So I, I'm not saying that's nothing. And obviously, obviously uh, in Willowdale Newtonburg, you're probably looking to double that. So say $2 million home, a uh, mortgage of $1.6 million. You're looking at approximately what? Uh, $230. Or so a month now it's not nothing but it's not going to have people change their life plans and certainly not going to have, have to have people change their moving plans especially with the idea that later on eventually god willing the interest rates will actually go down as i was hoping would happen even at this time this year so that's that's the situation there in terms of the interest rates in terms of the market buyers i'm going to tell you several times in this video short video hopefully um you need to get into the market if you can Inventory in the summer increases naturally, as it does every year, every normal year. And towards the end of August, it starts to come down because we sell more than we list in the summer. That's a given for most every year. And the fact that the inventory is picking up right now, competition is slowly dying down because it is the summer. It's, it's been a busy spring market. We still have lots of activity out there, but competition will die down. So in that July and August time, if you're a buyer, be it Willowdale, Newtonburg, or pretty much anywhere else, to be very honest, um, inventory is going to be higher than, than we're used to, which is good. And competition is going to be lower than you're used to this year. Definitely look out for that. Contact me. I'll give you some more information on that if necessary. Um, and by the way, if you're buying a uh, tier on warranty, I'm going to give you some info on that. Sellers, prices continue to rise. Good news. You'll see there's some great news for the area. Um, timing is still important because the summer is approaching. So summer draws near. You need to know about timing. Um, when, 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 well, the kind of home do you have? Do you have a home that tends to sit on the market for more for a month or two because maybe you're in the four to $5 million range? Not always the case. Some of them have sold less than a week, but you have to know your numbers. So that's something I'm going to really harp on, especially during the summer because things do slow down a little bit by GTA standards. Normal standards, people think it's a crazy market. So let me minimize myself just a tad more. And of course, I always try to provide value, guys. In all seriousness, um, this is a value proposition for you guys. Um, hit like and subscribe. Hit like on the video, subscribe. Or just or you get information like this, or maybe the occasional listing on YouTube. That's pretty much it. The information is solid. The information is solid. Um, and of course, I have a program that lets you know when your sellers hit the when your neighbors hit the market and when they sold and how much they sold for. I was just updated my my, my area just a, what a few minutes ago. So what you want to do that? It's free. It goes out to you directly. No bother from anybody else. There's a link in the description of the video. Onward. So the inevitable headline, of course, Bank of Canada raises its by uh, what a quarter basis point. Okay, understood. Twenty five basis points, a quarter point. Um, Personally, I don't think it's a good idea, but again, what do I know? Uh, but overall numbers, it's not going to make a big difference, and that's the big but there. But it's not going to make a big difference specifically in Willowdale, Newtonbrook, especially Willowdale, Newtonbrook East. Let's adult conversation. Things are expensive by regular standards in Willowdale and Newtonbrook. That's a given. If you're buying a two, three, four plus million dollar home, chances are those interest rates, that interest rate is not going to bother you as much. Again, I'm not saying people are made of money. I'm not saying money falls from the sky. Absolutely not. However, a couple hundred bucks a month, when you're looking at a mortgage of about 10 grand, 15 grand, 20 grand, not a big deal. Onward. Here's great numbers. And you won't see this anywhere else because I actually put the numbers together, took the GTA stats, adjusted them specifically for your area. So as every do every month, home sold. I made this blue. I don't like yellow. So blue is, is kind of normal. It's not great. It's up 25%, but... This is something, context, often you won't hear on the news and such. We sold 109 homes, only 87 sold in May of 2022. However, however, remember what happened in May. Towards the latter part of March in 2022, that's when the interest rates, in the news of interest rates and the interest rates started changing. The market started changing towards the end of March, beginning of April. But the time we got to May, the prices were already coming down and sales were coming down, going down as well. Why? Buyers didn't know what the heck was going on and sellers didn't know what the heck was going on. That's hence that issue. So homes sold, very normal, not bad at all. 
for a solid busy May in the GTA. Average price, here's the cool part. Average price is basically the same, down 0.5%. You'll see that doesn't make a difference when you get down to the actual properties. That's great. So we've already cut up to prices of 2022. The caveat there, and again, context just for you guys, so you guys are they have the actual numbers. May, again, was not the highest of 2022. The highest peak of 2022 in terms of prices was February and March of 22. February and March. We're comparing it to May. That's it. We're not yet at the peak of 22 prices in 2023, but we'll get there probably by the end of the year. Onward. New listings and active listings here is what I have a bit of an issue. I, that's why I highlighted or I circled it in red. Active listings down. We need more listings. Inventory is increasing. I, I'm not, I wasn't lying about that. We're probably close to going to get close to 14,000 for already 14,000 active listings in the GTA. Um, never mind, obviously, our specific area. But um, new listings, active listings lower. We need more properties. And again, I'm speaking to sellers. If you're looking to hit the market, it is still a good time. Even the summer is a good time because things are still busy. We go from maybe 300 ish homes per day uh, on average sales in the GTA down to maybe 200 or so. No, that's still a high number. You know, some places will think that's crazy. Okay. Average days on market and listing days on market, pretty much the same. An extra 20%. Sounds like a lot, but it's from 15 days to 18. That's not a thing. And it's these are average numbers. I know you guys know how to take that with a grain of salt. Detached prices. Here's the great thing. Detached, especially most homes in our area are detached, up 6%. And this is awesome. And I've seen this. Detached, especially Willdale Newbrook, really held well. And again, the east side tends to do a little bit better. Um, it's no semis. Um, townhomes uh, were only a few. The asterisk here is that there are only five sold and townhomes are a toss up. It doesn't mean they're going to be 18% uh, up from last year, uh, you know, all this year, not necessarily, but clearly townhomes are doing well. Detached are doing well. Condos, big, big green circle up 1.5% starting to catch back up, which is good to see because there are a lot of condos and condo owners want to have some, you know, solid equity, which you do certainly now. And condo townhomes, nine sold uh, last month, May. And uh, for an average, of just over a million. Where that compares to last year, um, it's roughly the same. I think it's a little bit lower. But again, because it's just a small number, averages don't really mean much. Overall, this, the, the whole theme of this is green. It's good. Moving up, same as last year or higher for most any property. Again, detached, doing well, over 6% increase. So, quick summary. Let me move myself so I don't get into any of the letters here. So, buyers, uh, similar to what I put uh, for the rest of the GTA. You got a great opportunity this summer. Uh, why? Always less competition and more inventory. That's just a summer thing. Again, people's minds are elsewhere. That's why we have a spring market. The spring market exists not because it's some special thing that realtors or sellers get together. It's because of school. School. It's always been school. And because it's school, things get busy. Other people get in who aren't school related. They don't have kids. They still get in there because it's the spring market. The spring market is busy. Spring, spring, spring. So, summer, always less, always less competition. Always more inventory. That slowly comes down towards the end of August and September. Second, second half of September, usually when the, the fall market starts. Sellers in the summer are serious and motivated. Buyers, take note. Please take note. Prices go up monthly, so there's no time to good present. You've seen my, this. Check my video from last month. Check my video from the last month before that. Steadily going up. You see what happened with detached properties, and most of the people that go in the area want something detached. Buyers, prices are not going down. That's for sure. They haven't been hit. Um, bonus, of course, if you work with me, and this is quite kind of thing, forgive me for the, you know, the bit of a, you know, self-congratulation here. I do have access to off-market properties. I'm constantly looking at off-market stuff, assignments and things like that. I've just have tons, literally dozens coming to me every single day, but specifically for the area, I drive through the area. I see homes that hit the market or not yet on the market. They're coming soon or they're exclusive or not quite ready. Um, that you could possibly have access to, of course, if you know me and are working with me. So call me for more information. I'm happy to talk to you. I'm always about the service as is you know, visible from these videos. One little ditty I'll make, I'll mention to you right here, and this is important. The link to the Tarion warranty update this month is going to be in the description of the email of the video. So go to the description. There's going to be a link. It's going to have the Tarion thing. Tarion changed some stuff. There's a lot of new homes. There are a lot of new homes in Newbrook and Willowdale, and we certainly need to know about this kind of stuff. It changes now. I believe the actual officially, uh, the, the changes take effect May 1st of 2024, but you need to know because as you know, and as I'm learning now, it takes a while to build a house. So making some significant changes, enhancements, you can pause this, watch this. Uh, initial home buyer submission uh, uh, um, is, is changed by t 10 days. Now it's 40 days. Um, interim 10 day grace period. Mid year submission is at six months. So all these different things uh, are slightly tweaked and changed, um, hopefully mostly for the better. But again, you want details? Uh, in the link in the bottom of the um, description, in the description of the bottom of the video, um, or contact me. I'm, I'll shoot it over to you. No problem. No harm done. 
Summary, sellers. Demand is solid. Demand really is solid. Prices are rising. And as always, know your numbers. See, that's the biggie in what I was talking to the, 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 this person who's looking to sell a home in Willowdale. Um, specifically, I was looking at, well, days in the market. Their, their price range is over $4 million, so it's high price range. Um, how long will it take probably to sit on the, to, to we'll sit on the market for a while? We'll sell quickly. What's going to happen in the summer? Um, how long will it take for you to do a couple of fix up, a couple of touch ups, a couple of things that maybe broke down or something like that, or maybe you scratched a wall or something of that nature? These are all things that are, are important, especially if you're looking to get maximum money for your house, especially when you're on the luxury level. So um, numbers are amazing and very, very important. And you have to know for your specific property. I gave you some basic numbers. You can go back to the beginning of the video or the middle of the video. We have the stats. How much, but I can tell you specifically, you know, what's your price range? You're in 2 to $3 million price range. I can tell you how long homes in that specific price range in our area have been sitting. The information I can get you. Very important. Days on market, D-O-M, is very important. That way you can time your sale for example you need work you gotta do some landscaping you gotta fix up uh, the basement or something like that well maybe you got a couple months maybe you go in the middle of september and get into the fall market or maybe you take advantage of the summer because that works better for your specific timeline everybody's different but knowing the numbers knowing the timeline knowing the days on market is very very important that's what i do that's my job so guys as always intent valuable 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 information um hit like and subscribe Feel free to contact me with any questions. I'm very easygoing, not salesy, as you can tell. And uh, I have a program that will notify you. As I mentioned again, if you're looking for information about your specific area, neighbors, you can actually change how far you want to go out, half a kilometer, two kilometers, three kilometers, and uh, anything that hits the market, anything that sells, you'll know, and you'll know the sold price as well. So Andrew the Realtor, <clears throat> um, out till the uh, month of July. We're going to know the, uh, the uh, inflation numbers. They're coming out June 27th, which is uh, before, you know after now. Uh, and uh, in the July update, I'll have those numbers. We'll see what happens with interest rates. And a certain will let you know what's happening in the market. Buyers, call me. The rest of you, take care of yourselves. I'll see you in July.